different philosophies, I call them philosophies, because often he's on some tangent or another. You know, he, he's, he's po following Buddhism now, but before that, he's always been on the path. I've always believed in a destination, and he's always been on the path. We have a labyrinth at our house. We go out occasionally and walk the labyrinth, and it gives us time to contemplate. He taught me the difference between a labyrinth and a maze. Now, a maze, you get lost. You know, you, you have to make a correct choice in whether you turn right or left. And I, I think this is very, it gets to the point of who he is, because he does not like to make decisions. It's kind of a family joke that, that he is so indecisive, but I think that perhaps sometimes that is his decision is to be indecisive. You know, he's interesting because on the surface, he seems very laid back and very easy guy. Sometimes some of us call him the sloth, because he likes to just hang. Sometimes there's a man, well, he's the man for his time and place. He fits right in there. And that's the dude in Los Angeles. And even if he's a lazy man, and the dude was most certainly that, quite possibly the laziest in Los Angeles County, which would place him high in the running for laziest worldwide. But sometimes there's a man, sometimes there's a man. God, the big Lebowski, I remember when the Coen brothers I, mean, I think I, I think I maybe I bumped into him somewhere or something. And I'm, I was a big fan, you know, Blood Simple and all their early stuff. But they said we're writing something for you. I said you're kidding me, you're great. I can't wait to you know read it. And he said, Yeah, I think you're gonna like it. And then I read it and I said, What is this, man? This is like nothing that I've ever done before. This is like, you know, did you crash one of my high school parties? You start going, oh, oh! Oh, you son of a bitch, no argument. Hey, 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 careful, man, there's a beverage here, huh? He thought that they were like, you know, had cameras set up in his house or that they were interviewing his family and friends to find out things about him. Oh, man, come on. Uh, who are you going to believe? Those guys are... We dropped off the damn money. We? I. The royal we. You know, the editorial, I dropped off the money exactly as per... Look. What in God's holy name are you blathering about? The brothers would tell you too that I, I was even resistant to that one. I can't, I can't believe it, but I had that resistance, you know, drag me to the party kind of thing. Uh, but I'm sure glad I went to that party, man. That was a fun, a fun thing. <laughs> And then what's happened to it, you know, over the years, now with these Lebowski fests, it just totally works. It's amazing. Cool shot, man. Thank you. Thank you. Feel free to look around. Enjoy. You just hang out here or are you just visiting? What's going on? I've actually... Uh, Yep. I'm the robot, actually. <laughs> I was a little bit concerned because uh, I had you know, daughters, you know, who were like, you know, just, you know, young teens. And I thought, oh, this would become a hit movie. Then they got their big, you know, pothead father. And uh, I remember asking my daughters, you know, what do you think about me playing this character? And uh, after a long beat, I think it was my middle daughter, Jessie, said to me, Dad, you're an actor. We know that what you do isn't real, you know. Wait, wait let, me, let me explain something to you. Um, I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. Uh, Are you in uh, the mishmash of styles that, that came together in the film, uh, the detective stuff, uh, Stay out of Bay City, uh, stay out of Malibu, whatever it was. I'm sorry I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> fascist! Uh, stay out of Malibu, Lebowski! Ow! Stay out of Malibu, deadbeat! He's one of the authors of the Port Huron statement. <laughs>
I, um, I was uh, one of the authors of the Port Huron Statement, uh, the original Port Huron Statement. Oh. And his avid bowling skills. It, it's all of our hopes in the 60s. <laughs> they wind up on the floor of a place in Venice listening to the bowling finals. <laughs> and whale music in the bathroom. <laughs> the dude is not in. Oh, man. And the introduction of the marmot into the bathtub. <laughs> hey, man, nice marmot. <laughs> hey, hey, this is a private residence, man. Nice marmot. He's created a character for all time. <laughs> you, you human paraquat! You figured, oh, here's a loser, you know? Uh, a deadbeat, somebody the square community won't give a shit about. Well, aren't ya? Well, yeah. We did some uh, improvisation to find the the uh, the reality of the moments, but uh, we would always, or at least I say this about myself, always return back to the script because every ellipses, every man, every it was right in the right spot, and you wanted to, you know, it was like. Uh, you know, reading music almost, you know, you can do it many different ways, but this is the way that's, you know, right in the spot. And also, let's not forget, let's not forget, dude, that keeping wildlife, um, an amphibious rodent for, um, you know, domestic within the city, that ain't legal either. What are you, a park ranger now? No, I'm just trying you to... about the marmot? One of the reasons if they ever legalize marijuana in California, there's going to be a moment where they're just going to have to do a shout out to the dude. It'll be that way to the, you know, because there's such a very large following of, you know, the idea that, you know, the dude will be there as, you know, uh, deified or, you know, I don't know if you kind of make him a saint, but while you're still alive, the dude abides. I woke up this morning with the sun down. Shining in here. The dude abides, yes, he does. I found my the dude abides with a capital A. He, he doesn't just abide. You know, he abides. You know, and then, and then that kind of resonates and echoes on and on. I told my mind on a jagged sky. We're sitting there at this 